Now out of that deadly shooting at a taco truck in southeast Houston. It started as a robbery just before four this morning on the Gulf Freeway near Monroe. Our Corley Peel breaks down how this unfolded and who police are searching for. I spoke with family members here at the scene, and as you can imagine, they are heartbroken. They say the shooter tried to rob this taco truck before opening fire. The truck is parked in a Chevron parking lot. Dozens of investigators were on scene combing through evidence. Police say a man in a black sweatshirt showed up at closing time and held the owner and two other employees at gunpoint. There was a scuffle in the parking lot that led to the owner being shot multiple times, killing him. The shooter ran away from the scene, and it's unclear if anything was stolen. The other employees were not hurt and managed to call 911. There is a surveillance camera on top of the truck and inside near the cash register. A security tower with cameras is also by the trucks and police are checking those cameras to see if they captured the shooting. But until we view them, we're not going to know what exactly they captured. Uh, we did get a hold of the uh, the tower that's behind me. If you see the with the red and blue flashing lights, we got a hold of the contact for that um, and viewed it. And right now, it doesn't appear that they captured anything. Family members did not wish to release the name of the taco truck owner, but they say he is 29 years old and leaves behind six children. Those with any information about this deadly shooting are urged to call HPD or Crime Stoppers. Reporting from Southeast Houston, Corley Peel, KPRC 2 News.